So last time, which I believe is part 10 of this uh, monstrous series, we uh, set up the, the header image. Excuse me, no, last time we actually looked at changing the, uh, the grid size uh, and some other various options of the theme. Um, previously to that, we had set up the header and the background images, which are respectfully this area right here uh, with this logo, the Fashionably logo, and uh, the background image that you see behind it. Uh, so this time, we're going to go back to our comp, and we're going to keep moving forward on it. Uh, if you look here, uh, we have a navigation bar which we're going to build out. So this actually may take more than one five minute series, but we're going to build that navigation menu right now. So let's dive right back into our our uh, admin panel here. We're going to go down here and we're going to go to, at the very bottom, sidebars. So right now you see we have no sidebars added. And right now, with no sidebars added, if you go to the uh, widgets area, it says no sidebars defined. Well, lo and behold. So you can't add any widgets yet. So let's go ahead and add a sidebar. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to give it a name, and we're going to tell it where uh, we're going to say where the sidebar goes. And there's a number of def there's a number of defined areas here, which are pretty much self-explanatory. The one that I'll, we'll talk about later is reserve, but um, the other ones are are pretty self-explanatory. So we have pre-header, pre-content, post-content, content left, content right, content above, header and footer, and then reserve. We're going to go with um, pre-content here because we're talking about that area after the header and before the actual content. We're going to say this is a default sidebar, meaning because it's going to host the nav area, we want it to um, we want it to be on every single page. And first and last means, is this the first sidebar in the row, and is this the second sidebar in the row? Uh, right now, I'm thinking this is going to be the only sidebar in the row, so it's going to be the first and last. So then we're going to say, the number of columns, and this goes back to the grid system. Uh, and like I said, we're going to use this as, as the full width uh, of the screen. So we're going to say this is 24 columns. It's the we're going to say it's the first sidebar uh, in in this area, and uh, we're not going to pull, push, prefix, or suffix any of it. Uh, pull, push, prefix, and suffix are all related to uh, the grid system uh, as well. We're just going to call this one default. And we're not going to add any CSS themes or any CSS styles to it right now. So basically, it's named default. It's going to go pre-content. Uh, it is a default sidebar. It's the first. It's the last sidebar. It has 24 columns. It's the first sidebar of the pre-content area. So we're going to we're going to say add sidebar. So now we should be able to go back to widgets here. And lo and behold, there are our widgets. Uh, and here we have our pre-content pre pre -content default sidebar. So if you look through here, uh, we've defined some handy dandy widgets for you. Uh, and it looks like if you look through here, you'll see one called navigation. So we're going to drag this right up here and drop it in there. And we're not going to give it a title. Uh, we're going to say it's horizontal and the nav location. There's two defined for you and you can add more right here just by typing the name and the description. Uh, but right now we're talking about the primary nav area. So we're going to leave that as it is. Uh, we're not going to give any styles. Uh, show. Uh, we're not going to add any JavaScript to it yet. Um, and we're not going to mess with the grid options yet. We don't need to uh, make this a gridded area just yet. So if you leave grid column zero, it will um, not use the grid system. So we're just going to save this. And then we're going to go back to our site here. And we're going to check out and see if we have a nav. And so we do. Sample page. There's our nav. Uh, so that's the only item in there. But we actually do have a, a nav bar right now. So the next thing to check out is, did we put this um, nav bar in the right area? So if we use Firebug here to check this out, uh, it looks like it's going right in the main section, uh, right after the header. Now if you look at the comp, we may want to put it, we may want to put it above the main section area. So in order to do that, uh, we need to add it to a different sidebar. And again, we'll take a look, we'll take a look at which sidebar would be most appropriate uh, in our next episode.